Here's what it appears to contain right here. Miscellaneous boxes, plastic bags, lamps, records, and you got it, bag ags. Let's see what's in here, you ready? <laughs> Man, this suck. What's that say? Gianni Verskeke? <laughs> Can you hear the smile on my face? Oh my goodness. Uh, that, that's gotta be some money, right? Come on. Good morning, Locker Nuts. It is Friday morning, 8.40. I just checked my garage sale app. I got an email this morning for another garage sale app, and I was like, yeah, let me just check see if there's something on Friday. Sure enough, there's a garage sale started today in Pleasanton with comic books and records, and I said, all right, I know I'm getting a late start on this, but I gotta go see. I gotta go see, and it doesn't have a start time on there, so maybe they start at nine, I don't know. They said early birds welcome, probably not, but I will go anyways and see what we find. Hopefully they still got some comic books. And now, I don't have that much stuff left. Here, this is a... Uh... I took that break and I, and I ate that donut and stuff. You want a donut, Andrew? Oh, well, How much for the comics? 50 cents each, three, four dollar, unless you want to buy them all, I'll make you a better deal. How much you want for all of them? I won't even count them. <laughs> uh, how about seven dollars to take them all? Sure, and how about for the records? You want them all? Yeah, let's see. Marvin Gaye, Van Halen, yeah, how much for these? Um, how about 20 bucks, take, take the whole box. Sounds good. All right, that was not a bad little garage sale. Um, <laughs> but apparently I got there too late. Um, some people showed up at, get this, 5.30 in the morning. That's what the guys tell me. 5.30 in the morning, they came with flashlights in the dark waiting for him to come outside. And once he did, then they were after him for the comics and toys. I guess there was much more this morning. But um, I told him, I said, wow, well, it's a Friday, so I wouldn't expect to really need to be watching for garage sales on Fridays. Well, apparently I do. I got in the car and um, checked my online status because I've been bidding on a locker here in town. And um, I probably split it out of that garage sale a little bit early just because I wanted to make sure I got this locker. And sure enough, someone was bidding me up. I, I'm really surprised, too. It went much higher than it should have, but I still got it. Let me show you what I got. All right, guys, here is the unit that I bought right here. And immediately, you can see right there, 380 bucks. That's what I paid, 380 It is a five by five. It's in San Ramon. It's actually very close to my house. I'm gonna head over there in just a little bit. Here's what it appears to contain right here. Miscellaneous boxes, plastic bags, lamps, records, and you got it, bag eggs. What are bag eggs? I'm not really sure. Maybe we'll find out together. I'm assuming they just might mistyped and meant to say bags. All right, there's picture one, here's picture two. Mm, what do you see here? Because I don't see very much. I see the lamps that they mentioned. I see boxes. I see a, quite a few boxes, actually. I see some bags, maybe those are bag eggs. That's a bag egg, right? All right, well, I don't know. I don't see very much here, though, to be honest with you. Um, I see an empty jar. I see junk. But the next picture is a little bit better, uh, but not much, right? When we see a, what looks to be a garbage bag, I'm not really sure, but it looks like the little red handles. Um, that I don't know what that is, a black leather bag. It could be a black garbage bag. Here's a white plastic bag around something cardboard. Here's a pink, it looks like a fitted bed sheet rolled up around something, maybe something, maybe something's in there. But this piece right here has got me interested because this is like a little dress, right? It looks like a baby's dress and it's been framed and it's not a cheap frame, right? That's a professional frame, you see the mat around here that's not cheap so someone said oh we we really care about this memory right here because that's basically what it is and they f spent some money to frame it this is somebody who has some money and also somebody who kept care of their stuff all right now here's the next photo i know it's kind of hard because they got it sideways right but what do we see here we see this uh anod what is this called anodized metal i forget what you call that um 
some kind of piece right here. I don't know what that is. It's a little curious to me. You see more boxes. All right. Boxes, boxes. What does this thing say right here? I can't even really tell. Hopefully it doesn't say crystal. But it doesn't matter because what you can see inside is not crystal. It looks like photo albums. And uh, what I mentioned recently, I'm not sure if it made it into a video or not. But I like when I find photos. Because if anyone went through here and took the stuff that meant the most to them, you, many times they take photos. Not always. Not always. But they often take the photos. So if you find photos, that means, well, they didn't mean to lose this. And that means it might be some better stuff. But this right here. That down there is what's got me most interested in this unit. That, to me, looks like a trunk. And even though we hardly ever find anything good in the trunks, uh, I'm still like to find trunks. I still think that I'm going to find a treasure in a trunk someday. And maybe that's it. All right. But basically, really, the thing I liked most about it is that it's close to my house. But this right here, records. I'm hoping it doesn't mean paper records. So I'm hoping it means vinyls, LPs, 45s, something good. Let's go find out. All right, I'm on the freeway. I just wanted to show, I don't know if you guys can see the air quality right now is extremely bad. I've been saying in probably every video, but every day, it seems to be getting worse. Ah, oh, man, this guy's shaking off some gravel on me. What a jerk. So, yeah, see right up on the horizon there? Uh, you can't really see the very far. There's, there's thick, thick, thick smoke. It's crazy. All right, guys, are you ready for another episode of Locker Nuts? Let's go inside this building where I just bought the bought a unit. Unfortunately, they play music here. Eee, that's kind of not good because of copyright now with YouTube. I might have to just load this up and go home. Oh, I don't like, I don't want to do that. But let's check it out real quick, okay? Ooh, start this. Let's see what's in here. You ready? <laughs> Okay, you saw the pictures of the unit that we saw. This looks entirely different. Like, why didn't I just get a picture back here? They got pictures, like, up. Let me show you. All right. Yeah, it's like they got pictures, like, looking straight down right here. And then, like, straight down right here. They should have just gone back right here and just got a full-on picture of the unit. And I don't know if it would have got more or less if that were the case. But, uh, yeah, those are light. Um, you know what? I don't know, but this music is going to be a problem. This music is going to be a problem. So let me just uh, show you around real quick. Okay, it looks pretty good actually. I mean, there's actually more in there than I thought. It's a five by five, they said. The, the unit I bought uh, yesterday, they said it was a five by five, but this one seems big, way bigger and uh, there's more in it. So that's good news. The other good news is I think that the stuff looks a little bit older. The boxes look a little bit older, like they're owned by an older person. That I think is good too. Um, I like it anyway. So here's what I gotta do. They, as much as I like listening to Madonna, which I mean not like I she's on my playlist but I don't mind the music it's better than silence when you're working not better when you're videoing that really sucks because I'll get a copyright strike on YouTube you can't have non-licensed music playing um, and they have these little radios throughout there. there's no way to turn them off so uh, here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna load up bring it home thing that sucks about that is that when I go home I got gardeners blowing mowing everywhere noise noise kids interrupting me at home all kinds of stuff happening but I can't have the music I can't have the music all right so maybe I'll do a little unboxing right here maybe I'll do that <laughs> let's get started this looks like it's just a little um a waste basket sweep sweep it up ah that's what it is lampshades dang it I should have known that they're very light Yeah, what do we got here? Okay.
Mm. Dishware. You know how much I love that. <laughs> and these records, unfortunately, are not the kind of records that we really want. Uh, Mormon Tab Tabernacle Choir. I think we've had that one before. Sounds of the 60s. Mm -mm. Man, this suck. What's in here? Ugh. That's a waterproof mattress cover right there. Yee. What do we have here? Oh, music of the 30s, huh? Okay. Hmm. Man, these are not the kind of records you want. But that's okay. We still might find better stuff. Mm -mm. These old ones, huh? You want a piece of my heart? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be one of those lockers, huh? Where I break everything? Are we doing that again? <laughs> okay, what's it got here? Yeah. Uh, DVD, CD player. Not a Blu ray. Okay, so I'll probably get donated. So it looks like a juicer, got a blender, cookbooks, an old iron. this world's greatest music huh, there's an album in here All right. uh, looks like I broke that back there Michael Jackson. All right. Andrea Bocelli, Essential Journey. Okay, that's a little better. Got some good music in there. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my goodness. These are not big sellers right here. But you know what? We'll donate them. Maybe the we have to get some money for them. So what are these? These are some old shoes. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I see something. See that right there? That bag? It says Gianni Versace. 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 Uh. What's that say? Gianni Versace? Versa Vers Versace? Versace? Uh, maybe that's something, huh? Ew. Okay. Oh, Chanel. Whoa, what the heck? Really? Vintage Chanel clothes? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did this just turn up or what? Did this just get interesting? Chanel? No way. Dude, Chanel. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> Can you hear the smile on my face? Oh my goodness. I think this is something good. I think that's good. I think that is good. Alright. Uh, Machino? Couture? Made in Italy? Okay, I know this might be old lady stuff, but... It's pretty dope though, right? Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is kind of cool. Made in Italy. You know, I'm liking that. Those are three very good words put in that order together. Mm -hmm. Made in Italy. 
Gianni Versace. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got a little bit of staining right here. I think they'll be able to get that out. Probably wear makeup, you know, from wearing makeup on your neck or whatever. Dude, this is okay. 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 <laughs> oh, maybe that $380 investment actually it's more than that with the fees and everything it's more than that but maybe just maybe this is another good one are my on a streak i know i had a couple bad ones recently made in italy what is this looking for another maker mark on this i know this is versace but yeah that does too oh oh what's this right here oops well, now i'm in trouble I don't know. That looks pretty good, though, too. Look at the buttons. Super fancy. Oh, man, you guys. I am on a hot streak. A hot streak. I'm having an incredible hot streak lately, aren't I? Versace and Chanel clothes. Vintage, I think. Dang. So good. Man, and look at that. Those were right next to this. And what did I say about that? I said somebody that takes this kind of care of something and spends the money on framing. To me, that's somebody with money. That's somebody with money. Okay, it was by Aaron Brothers, but still, still, that's got some money to do that. It ain't cheap. This is VHS right here. And it's heavy. And it is VHS. I say a lot of Disney though. Alright, what do we got here? Jumanji. Oh, look at that. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Part 3. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of Disney. They are in rough shape though. See the corners of them are all cracked up. Is that getting on here? Yeah, pretty rough. Pretty rough, but I don't know. This will be a donate box. And that's what I say. All right, three more garment bags. Usually I am not excited about garment bags. This time's a little different. What the heck? Okay, guys. Oops, it's caught on my camera. That has got to be money. That's got to be money right there. Oh, it's even got the pants to match. Holy smokes, that is... Okay, uh, that, that's got to be some money, right? Come on. That is... I've never found anything like that before. Versace. Dang. <laughs> Holy smokes. Look at this Versace. Oh my goodness, look at those pants. Who is brave enough to wear that? That's pretty dope. What, where do you even wear that? What's this? Thierry Muggler, Paris. All right, that is, oh, whoa. That's kind of fancy too, isn't it? Look at that thing. Dang, this is good, so good. All right. Yeah, I'm feeling much better about my investment right now. I'll tell you what much much better i gotta take a picture of this right here send it to jana okay what is this saint john okay this looks nice all right but not i don't think it's as expensive as the others but probably decent because vintage we'll either sell that in our we'll sell some of this vintage stuff in our auction or on eBay, or we may bring some of it. Oh, look at that. There's a Versace right there. This right here, this piece. That's nice, isn't it? Really nice. Uh, we'll sell some of this on eBay, and we'll also probably bring some of it to the vintage uh, vintage market when they resume. This is Versus. All right. That's, that was on the bag, wasn't it? I think that is a high-end brand as well. What is this piece here? This is a pretty wild. Oh, man, come on. Okay. Those 
those are nice. Okay, this is wild right here. Look at this. Wow. Crazy, right? Versace. <laughs> I hope there's a market for this older stuff. I've never come across anything like this before. Not ever. Vintage, like really high end like this. Nope. I think this is probably Versace too, but I don't see the, the name anywhere. What's this? Is this just made in Italy? I think this, yeah, this is. Dang, look at that Versace. Man. Looks like it's in really nice condition too. This is some pretty interesting stuff. Oh, this one did have the brand. Right there, Versace. Cool. Just gotta look a little harder. These things are so uh, wild with the prints and so much colors and everything going on. It's like, it's hard to see the tags. They all blend in. Damn, oh man, that's some crazy stuff. I love it. I love it. Now we're gonna have to pay a little bit closer attention to the shoes because this lady had stinking Versace clothing. Some of these shoes might be very high end as well. This is really soft leather on here. Aerosols, okay, that's a good brand. Those are good shoes, they don't look very worn either. What's this? Nina. Made in Spain. Hmm, cool. All right, what this is right here is kitchen, everyday dishes, cups, and silverware. That sounds like boring, boring, and boring to me. Let's just, let's just do a little dig in there. Not too much, but we'll do a little bit. Coffee cups. I think there's probably silverware in here. Yep, a whole bunch of it. Okay. Okay, guys, this potentially is good. Look at this. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but it does say VHS. Kid movies. So let's hope it's kid movies and some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff, meaning figurines and such. But unfortunately, I have a feeling it's just going to mean VHS turtle movies, like we already found one. Let's see. Uh, ooh, whoa. There's a whole bunch of them, though, isn't there? Whoa, what the heck? They really did have a total turtles collection of the cartoons I don't think there's value in those I might be wrong I don't think so though all right uh, Johnny Quest hmm I might have to do a quick search on some of these just to see if there's value there but I just don't think there is all right I see one right here a lot of 15 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle VHS tapes including three factory sealed ones, 27 bucks. All right, so we're not talking about big, big money. There's another lot of 15, 41 bucks, 31. Hmm, I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. I'm just gonna sell those at the garage sale, I think. All right. Oh my goodness, you guys. This thing is super heavy. It's all wrecked too. No, I mean like it is super heavy. What the heck is in here? Alright. I usually wait till the end on these, but this one's so dang heavy. A bunch of paper. See a bunch of paper here. Oh, newspapers. Dang it. What the heck? <laughs> what is up with that? Converse with a couple of extra soles? Oh, that's weird. Okay. Oh, signed A's hat. Oh, there's a signed baseball right here. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Look at this. I don't know what those were. Those are Mickey Mouse hats. This might actually have some decent stuff in it. Uh, at least it'll deserve a little bit more time and attention 
that I don't want to give it right the second because I'm basically I'm burning up the standing in the sun right now. All right, this little crystal it says oil and vinegar. Okay, yeah, books. All right, book. Ooh, there's a Bible. Let's see if there's any money. In it. Never have found money in it. Everyone tells me look for money. People always store money in Bibles. I have never, ever, ever found it. Oh, Book of Mormon. Whoop. Oh. Oh. Nope. Come on, money. Where are you hiding? Uh, Orson Scott card. Huh. Interesting. He wrote Ender's Game. That was a fantastic book. Okay. The Golden Plates. Whoa. Just more glass where it does look like some crystal it's not especially well packed in there donate all right glass glass work. that's nice oh dang it's Linux no wonder it's nice okay that's pretty cool oh wow Legacy Valhalla, huh? That's pretty. Hmm. Nortaki. Oh, Legacy by Nortaki. Nortaki's pretty decent. Huh. I'm gonna take that home and go through it a little bit more carefully, maybe. Okay, check this out. Eight Nortaki Valhalla Cobalt Blue Gold Dinner Plates. I think those are similar. $124.99. That's a sold price. $125 for eight. Here's eight. Oh wow, here's eight that sold. Oh, bread plates. I think that might be what we have. 40 bucks. Hmm. Here's another a uh, lot of seven dinner plates for 60 bucks. Eight uh salad plates, 40 bucks. So the dinner plates have more value. I think that's typical. Alright, we're gonna cut it right there. We'll pick up in the next episode. There's gonna be a lot more great stuff coming out. Can't wait to show you guys a lot more digging, a lot more discoveries. But so far, we're off to a fantastic start. I feel so good because I spent 380 bucks was too much to pay for that locker. And I'm sure you've heard other stores, guys, if you watch our videos, uh, saying the same thing. Lockers are going for an, a tremendous amount right now. In my opinion, it's part due to a few things number one shortage of inventory there's not that many uh, lockers coming up for auction these days which leads us buyers to uh, you know be fighting over the limited amount that we have available number two is well apparently a lot of people are getting free money from the government because all this COVID stuff not me but uh, there's been basically a lot of money floating around. People are spending it pretty freely. Number three, well, we might have a little bit to do with it. <laughs> a lot of people blame us YouTubers for, um, you know, making people either get into this business or spend more money because they see the kind of stuff they could find in it and makes them think, well, maybe this locker has that in there. I'm going to spend more. I don't know if that's true, but we certainly seem to be getting our share of uh, the blame right now. But hey, I'll take it if it's due. But in this one right here 380 bucks too much to spend on a locker guys to be frank with you but like i said in the video i i do you know it was close to home basically it was close to home i pay a little bit more for that convenience and in this case it did take me two quick loads i ran down the thrift store dropped some stuff off i came back it was two easy truck loads i love when i can do that close if it's an hour from home and it does complicate things a little bit so anyways um so far what do we find some versace versace Chanel uh, and then a bunch of other stuff I can't pronounce okay, guys what do, what do I know about fashion do you see this I'm actually wearing a sleeveless Raider shirt on video right this very moment <laughs> what do I know I don't know one thing I do know is that it can be expensive all right take this piece for example this is a Versace um, what do you call this blazer I don't know what you call it it's a jacket kind of uh, piece you know and uh, what Jana knows a lot more about this kind of stuff. That's why she's in charge of listing this stuff. I did want to show this as an example. 
um, because we have already listed a few things. You can find them in our eBay store. And before you send me an email message saying, well, how do I find your eBay store? It's right in the description of every video. I put the, the eBay store link in the description below. You can find it very easily just by clicking on it. And if you're interested in Versace, definitely go by and check it out because she's listed quite a few pieces already. Um, this piece sold within 15 minutes. And guess how much? This piece right here. 500 bucks okay well maybe not maybe it's 495 dollars or something let's just call it 500 bucks 500 bucks one piece listed and uh took about 15 minutes to sell that's crazy this was just yesterday all right um so pieces are going up right now as i'm making this video and i'm hoping they'll continue to sell like that because that's 500 bucks that more than paid for the locker paid for, i took a little bit down to the thrift store i think there's a couple pieces i had to bring to the dump uh, a couple boxes of garbage or whatnot, paperwork mostly, I think we recycled that. But basically, all the costs are covered and we're already in the profit from the first piece that we sold out of the unit. Urgh, I love it when that happens. I love it when it happens. And it does happen a lot. Usually when you buy a locker for 25 bucks, you can say that very easily. Not so much when you spend close to 400 bucks. But if you guys are interested in high fashion, also check out our eBay store because we have another couple pieces of high fashion such as this lovely locker nuts embroidered trucker hat. All right, one size fits all. $25 including free shipping and then also you can now find your locker nuts t-shirts all right also $25 including free shipping very nice that's what I wear in the videos you can have one for yourself $25 free shipping sizes range from small to 5x and everything in between all right check out the eBay store we have lots of other great stuff too uh, more adding every single day so I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I'll tell you what I'm gonna pick next video is gonna pick up right where we left off same day cleaning out the same locker and we're finding more great stuff so don't miss it but until then good luck to you God bless you we'll see you next time right here on Locker Nuts Locker Nuts thanks for watching Plush warming throw, which, oh, nope, never mind. That is not at all what's in here. <laughs> oh, okay, guys. Things just got serious. This looks like jewelry.